Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another About My Stumps World of Tanks console fail team series videos. We're on Abbey. We're in the STA-1. And this is, people, this is how not to play Abbey. That's all you need to know. Just watch this video. I don't even need to comment, probably. I could probably just end my commentary right now, let the game play out, and you would learn something from this. This is how not to play Abbey. We have a team that just... This does happen constantly. So, it's like... Ugh, people. And you hope that eventually they would learn to, you know, do something right. <laughs> but the people in this game, I swear half of them are bots or something because they're just clueless. Looking around, trying to figure out where I want to go. Trying to see who's going where. I'm like, um, no one's going this way, everyone's going up there. I'm like, come on, I ping the map. Does anyone come down? Nope. So we have a tortoise in front of us, a KV-3, okay. What else? What else? KV-3 and a tortoise. Um, I'm still contemplating, I'm like, oh gosh. No, <laughs> I don't want to go down here. I know there's going to be heavy tanks. We have a tier 9 off of Waffle Jr. and a Borzig. So we have a Ramama Ding Dong. Okay, so they have a couple decent guns. No armor, but, you know, a couple good guns. So maybe if we don't run into too much of their team, I'll come down and help. Come down here. We've got a Fatherland. That ain't too bad. But then what does our Ramalama Ding Dong do? Jumps right out there after getting hit once. Jumps right out. Gets tracked. And he's frontlining it with a Borza again. He's out of the game. So, uh, someone gives a thumbs up. And I look at all the the red right there. Oh, there's another one. Heavy tank, heavy tank, heavy tank. Medium tank. No, I'm out of there. All of these players went over to the side over there. Look at them. You got one, two, three, four, five on the other side. Two tank destroyers still sitting in base. One sitting there saying reloading and he keeps on pinging the map and but he's sitting right in the middle now to be honest to be somewhat whatever if you look at the matchmaking I mean we were somewhat doomed right from the start on this map because you gotta push they have one two three four five six seven eight heavies we have two heavies we have seven tank destroyers and of them seven, like four of them have no armor whatsoever. So when you're talking about armor to hit points, that team has a lot more armor for their hit points. So the uh, KV-3 is gone now. Nothing's left on that. If I had stayed over there, it would have been in my game too. I'd be dead right now. I'd be the next one dead. And I'm sitting here, I stop, and I'm contemplating. I'm like, you know... Why even bother to play? It's just, I'm looking at the map. It's like, why even bother? And I'm trying to think, well, should I turn around and try to hold this position with these tank destroyers? Because I know that big group of tanks that didn't lose a tank whatsoever is going to be coming up. You know, there they are, A, A5, A4. They're all pushing right up there, and I'm like, no, fuck it. I'm not even going to stay there either. Just, it's pointless. And again... Do I blame the players? Uh, not as much as I blame the matchmaker. When it sits there and, you know, gives us so many tank destroyers, and yes, they're Borzigs and, and Waffle Juniors and stuff, but they got no armor whatsoever. And gives them all them heavy tanks. It's just completely... And their heavy tanks are, are Tiger Twos. Um, Churchills. Um... I think there's a, a um, E75. Do you know, it, it's, it gave them a bunch of tanks with armor. And our team has no armor. And it makes me think, why does it... Why even, why even bother to play this game? Why This match? Why continue to play it? Why not just walk out, go to the next match? I'm not going to be able to do anything. I haven't done any. I have one penetrating shot because I jumped up and... You know, I, I put a cheeky shot into to that uh, Tiger 2. And I'm sitting here thinking it's just pointless. 
You know, our team, there's only six of us left. And, ooh, we killed, killed, killed the Saint Emil. I'm going to pull down this way, and I figure this is where I'm going to make my stand, because this is, I'm down the other end now. I'll get a few shots on tanks coming across. And this is where I might get the best chance of doing any damage, you know, in the long run. 276 the Black Prince. See if we can hit him with another one. Uh, but he turns right at the last minute, so that didn't work. Um, awful Waffle over there. Awful Waffle Jr. with no arm, no hits taken out of him. Comes a Tiger 2. Try for the cheek. Didn't penetrate. Come back out, see if I can get another one. Maybe we can get a lower plate or something. And we do some track damage. And let's try it again. There we go, 243, but I take a shot in return. And oh, here comes the Skoda T50. He's coming down across here. We're going to put one into him right there, 225. Um, I can reliably pen him even with auto auto aim, so that's what I'm going to I'm just going for damage right now. 231, just damage. I'm going to go over here, and I was going to try to push him, but of course I get tracked. Going into him there, 193, that's a crap roll. And he backs down off the edge. Now, I don't know if he did that just to make sure he stayed alive. It's a good possibility, because he knew he couldn't kill me with one shot. Um, or he might have done it by mistake, but I'm just going to leave him. I tried to throw one shot at him, but, you know. Alright, here comes the E50. And there's a Tiger too. I I know I'm dead. Look at them all. I'm just going to go see what I can get for shots. Ammo rack on the E50, and then I get killed. So I end up with seven penetrations, which sucks. But what you going to do? When you start a game and the other team has ten heavies and you have two... I come in second place with how poor of a game I just had. Second place. I mean, it, two shots for 503 to the Tiger 2, three shots for 649 to the Skoda, one shot for 217 to the E50, and one shot into the Black Prince for 276. So, uh, yeah, you look at the list right there. Tortoise did 500 damage before he got overrun. The uh, Awful Waffle Jr. did 1,000. RE50 did 389, under 400. The Borzig did 213 before he backed around front and got raped. Our KV3 did nothing. You know, would me staying on that side have helped? No. I would have been dead within seconds after. Our Motherland did 500. You know, our Fatherland only did, did under 800. You know, when I come in second place and only do 1600 damage, but again, is it the player's fault? I could look at the the Borzig and say, he only did 213. He shouldn't have been where he was. He shouldn't have been frontlining it. So that was his fault. KV3 over there, he was in a bad spot. You know, we were overrun over there. But you think he would have got one shot in. Just one. So was that his fault? Eh. I don't know. You know, Tortoise, he couldn't turn once he got surrounded. And so 523. But that's only like maybe one or two shots. Probably probably two in the tortoise. So, you know, whose fault is it? Is it the player's fault this game? I don't think so. When you get stuck in a game when the matchmaker just completely sticks it in your ass right from the beginning. Anyways, run that battlefield, shoot the red ones.